Hey everybody, welcome back to Tavern Master. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, it happened. We got lucky. It happened while I was letting it run. Somebody, one of them purple folks, they came in and uh, we managed to get the plus one bar. So super cool, loving it. Now we're doing the ch trying to do the chopping table thing, but today we're having a Viking party. Yeah, I decided to run an event. This is the Viking theme party. We're doing it on May 11th here. And we have to serve 80 guests. We did so. We got paid a boatload of money, and uh, we can go ahead and keep increasing our prestige uh, even more if we'd like to. So let's put some decorations in here. Let's go. Um, also, kind of wish eh, it could maybe be a toggleable setting, just like, like an idea. Kind of wish the game could keep running while I was in construction, because um, it, it really don't need it to stop. Like it, it could just keep going. But uh, we could do this, and we could do uh, another picture, maybe right here. Just trying to increase that prestige up higher even more. How about uh, maybe another shield over here? Or another picture? I kind of want to keep it different, you know? We could do these um, these curtain things. Actually, you know, we probably should have... Uh, well, eh. Let's, let's put another shield over here, let's say. And then we could put one of these over here. But I'm, I'm thinking it's probably best to stop with the decorations on the wall and start really focusing in on tables and stuff because uh, it's like a direct replacement and I like it that way though but wh what I was going to say is we probably should have some windows over here so we can add some windows along this back wall yeah give people something else to look at uh, yeah. in the kitchen no how about just this uh, this side of here yeah there we go now we can opt to put the curtains and stuff up on the windows and stuff too 6,000 prestige. Ooh. Uh, let's zoom ahead a couple of days and we can. Uh, we need to get to this. To reliably do the research for these guys, we need to get to this. But right now, our research calls for the red. I don't know what to call them. Red, the red people. I mean, the, the, the red icon. I don't know. Uh, but it, it calls for that. And um, this event we're currently doing, it gives us a lot of money, but it doesn't give us the right kind of people. It gives us these kind of people. So, uh, yeah, but we need to get the purple uh, so that I could reliably get the new floor. Although clearly it can happen. It's a low percentage chance. It took three days in game to have it happen, but it did happen. So I got lucky maybe, I don't know. Okay, they're getting up and leaving. Let's uh, do some changes to the tables here now too. Got $1,700, almost $1,800 really. It's probably more realistic to say that. So this is a $70 table. We sell the $70 table, replace it with the, oh, I could go with the Lux. I could go one Lux table. There's one Lux table in here. It looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> and then we have the standard benches that go with it. Let's sell those. And uh, maybe we can just get some deluxe benches for this. I can't afford the $2,000 Lux bench. <laughs> no. Uh, again, I don't see why the chairs are two by one. It doesn't make sense to have these things take up two spaces. Maybe the argument is that they have to sit to the side of them and had to get in but like you could scoot the seat right the seat is movable so we could also presume that they scoot it out sit it and scoot themselves up but it is what it is deluxe bench seems like it's possible at least so we'll pop those in there we have one really nice table now and we're in big debt but i'm not really concerned about that because we're making some killer cash and then by the time, I think today, I think we'll be able to get this many people, 18 of them. We currently have a 10% chance to see them uh, organically or natively or whatever. So I, I think we're probably going to be able to get this research done today. It's certainly tomorrow. And after that, we're uh, we're definitely going to need the, the more gold colored. And uh, we might as well go big on that because we can. We'll do another Viking theme uh, as we uh, progress forward. Hopefully by then we'll have the research uh, switched over to where we need that that color. But if we don't, then you know I can always cancel the event and shift it forward in the schedule a bit more too. So right now I can have another bartender, but well, see, he's 69% satisfied with his 69 salary. Double nice. <laughs> um, so like if I hired another bartender right now, was he work the same bar? 
can carry four drinks at the same time. Cool. Yeah, there's that's that's the reason why. So for now, we're gonna have to up his salary a little bit to make him happier. Because he's working real hard over there at the bar. Standing there doing nothing. <laughs> Re refill all the drinks. And it's kind of interesting that you don't have to refill this. You know, I guess it's just too much micromanagement, maybe? They decided, like, you have to refill the drinks constantly. And it's like, oh, do I really have to click this again? But you don't have to do the same for food. Kind of odd. I'm maybe hoping in the, in the future we have some sort of a supply chain or just something extra added to where you need to have the raw pro the, the, the produce and the meat and stuff you have to have that stuff shipped to you and, and have an adequate supply of each item that you're selling on your menu right that'll add a little additional complexity to it um i think to have some sort of a storage room or something like that would be a good idea but mostly i kind of want a bigger map like i just want to be able to build you know out more. I realize I can go up and uh, I think maybe I can't go up fast enough. If I was going to give another critique, I'd say that maybe like this whole new floor research, uh, you know, maybe put it before the bar right here. Cause I just, I feel like it takes too long to get up there. I've had this many tables and chairs for quite a while. I've had a guest uh, per day that basically fills this up for quite a while. And uh, I mean, I, realistically, I suppose I could move a few things, and I, I should probably move this. Move this over, move this over. Uh, I could move this over and add another chair, probably. It just gets it crowded, and I like the spacing and everything, just being spaced out. Uh, but if I did that, then I would be able to fit extra stuff. Like maybe if I moved everything over one now at this point, I'd be able to fit another row of single chairs in here. So there is a little bit of customization to that regard. So if I went like this, for example, move these back, move this back. Uh, there's no way to like group things together to move them. So it's just one at a time at the moment. But if I was to do something like this and slam all these things right together, right? Then I have enough room for like example, another Lux table. I could put a Lux table like right here, like this. Maybe not a Lux table. It's expensive. <laughs> Just an amount of money. Uh, we could put like one of these small tables like right here. And then uh, we get the seats for the... Maybe I do nicer seats. How about a comfy chair? Which again is like two spaces for some reason. I don't, I don't get that. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. So we'll put some nice chairs on that one, let's say. And then, um, you know, by moving this around... If I shift you over one, does that... That seems fine, we have enough light, so I can shift everything over. And yeah, it gets a little crowded, and that's why I didn't originally do it, but I mean, as long as the servers can do their job and get in there, then it's it's better for the guests because we can have more people at once. And the, you know, the king's gonna bring a hundred guests. So like, we gotta have enough people to, to accommodate his majesty well, and her majesty. Let's not forget, there's, there's, two, there's two royals there, all right? Uh, where's the seats, right? Let's do the basic seats here. So one, two, and actually that's all I can afford. Yeah, I'm out of money. I'm actually gonna be in debt if I do this, but is what it is. Uh, so we could fit extra seats in there, right? That was the whole point. Uh, now this isn't gonna be lined up because of that. Yeah, this isn't gonna be lined up because of this. So I, I can actually move this back just to make it look a little bit better. Yeah, lined up here. And then I could move this. These guys get upset if you move it after they sit down. Uh, but I didn't want to crowd the bar. So I think I will leave these alone. But um, we've added a extra, couple of extra seats here. And it's not too crowded by doing so either. It's There's plenty of walk space between this. So it's nice. Okay, well... Uh, we're going to let this run a little bit longer. We have a Viking theme party happening on this day, and uh, we need to serve just seven more red people. <laughs> I need to know the official name. I'm going to reach out to the dev. I think I'm going to reach out. In the next video, I'll, I'll know what they're actually called, but there's no mouse over or anything for them, so I, I have no idea what to call them. So They're the, the orange people. Yeah, orange people, uh, gold people, or yellow people, and purple people. That's what we have, the 
<laughs> I, I I guess I want to say they're... I don't know. You know? Like, maybe nobles? We have royalty as purple. I'm, I'm just going to guess and see if I'm right later. So, royalty or members of the royal court. Then we have nobles, which are yellow or, you know, gold colored. Uh, and then the orange one's the tough one because I don't really know what to call them. If we take a look at the event list, although I don't know how Vikings are noble, but I guess. If we take a look at the event list, pirates are also gold. Maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe gold is like warriors. I bet that's what it is. These are like warriors, right? And then workers, maybe specialist workers, like regular old workers, I guess. Wine tasting, work anniversary, workers, executioners are, I guess, a worker. <laughs> and then we have warriors. And then, uh, and then the nobles, or the the king's court. I don't know. I'm just trying to guess and see what they are. I don't. We're gonna have another event too. We're just gonna do two Viking themes because they pay the most. I don't. There's no benefits. This could be another thing for an update in the game later if you wanted. Um, once you reach this level where you have, well, let's just cancel this. Once you reach the prestige requirements, it doesn't make any sense to not do the one that pays you the most. Right? Like, you should just do the one that pays you the most every single time. Unless there is a research benefit to going lower. I would like to see some sort of cause or diversity in in this, right? Like, give me some extra benefits that happen with these that have strategic meaning. So that maybe I would want to do a wine tasting. Even though it's less money, there's another benefit to it that really helps me out in addition to, you know, just money or, or research progress. You see right there, we got it though. So we'll go ahead and get the props for soup, I guess, here. Although I can get the new floor if I do. Let's do this. Because I can get the new floor after I do this. All right, sweet. We can buy the chopping table now too, I think. So let's go to kitchen, chopping table right here. And we can put this, uh, uh, let me see, put this right here. Maybe over here. I don't know, like kitchen arrangement in this. I'm not sure if it matters, but uh, we'll do that. But now that we have the chopping table, we can also... Uh, cook fish steak and steak. Nice. Good. And then the leek soup, vegetable soup, tomato soup thing. That requires the soup research, which we are working on uh, after this, after the guests per day. But the tomorrow we have the Viking event, so they're going to pay us a bunch of money there too. Let's go ahead and upgrade some of our tables. I'll pick this one. We might as well go all out on these. You know, we get the most prestige per square foot or whatever. By uh, just, you know, popping in these things. And then once these guys funnel in, we'll get our 80 guests served easy. 1,500 gold reward. Uh, and at that point, it's mostly just let it run. Because <laughs> I don't want to replace any of these things while they're sitting there. Although I could... I don't know. I guess I could go decor a little bit more. could maybe add another shield there. And uh, there's... I don't know. I'm pretty limited on which ones I want here. Maybe you already have that picture. Yeah. There's not enough pictures. I want more. I want to have more. Also, having that be right there. I feel like, can I... I'll put it there instead. I don't want it to be too close to all this. This is all very crowded. I could put an extra shield there and stuff too later. We already have windows. Yep, those look good. Uh, can I fit another shield? I just have enough money, barely. Put another shield over, like... I'm gonna put it there. 7,000 prestige, there we go. So once these guys leave for the day, I think then we'll have this, and then I can go after the new floor research. Uh, and then from there, it gets real interesting because we get the extra bar, we can use our money on all the cheap tables in the top, we can just build the whole thing up, I can see how big the stairs are, rearrange the tables, oh, it's gonna happen! We're gonna have stuff, and uh, I'm gonna let this run a little bit, and through the power of magic and uh, wizardry, and uh, the, the strength of a knight, and the power of a thousand suns, and whatever you want to call it. The magic of video editing, uh, you guys will see it in a, in a second, and it'll take me a couple minutes though. So, I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Alright, ending another big day here, and uh, we're selling a lot. We make so much money on this. 
Uh, and special events are so good too. Uh, I went ahead and spent a ton of money after making a bunch of money with those special events. So we've got a uh, we've got a couple of like really nice tables now. The Lux tables are are happening. Um, but Hugo here, he's not very happy. All right, thirty one percent happiness, and he's the highest paid guy in the whole damn place. I think uh, one of the cooks is eighty one. No, Bert's making eighty three too. But he's happy with his 83 because he has help, right? And these guys all, like, we're working together. They're nice. and uh, But some of these guys, they have perks. Like, uh, like this is cool. I like this. Uh, this guy's awesome. Attracts more customers and receives a five gold bonus for every main course served. That's awesome. Adam can prepare two soups at the same time. We haven't been able to do anything with soups, but we're going to do that tomorrow because we've unlocked it. So let's go to the kitchen. We have the cauldron for the soup. And uh, I think I want to rearrange how this kitchen is, to be honest. So give me a second. Let's um, let's rethink the kitchen a little bit here, okay? Uh, what I want to do, I think, is place the cooker. Uh, also, you can right-click to rotate these things, too. Totally just found that out, because Z and X are so un unintuitive to me. Like, I just like, ugh. I don't like it. Uh, but... Like, the right click is nice. Now, I don't know which way is the front for this, uh, but I sort of like the chopping table kind of being in the middle, sort of, you know, not being up against the wall and stuff anyway. I don't know. Seems like it could be interesting. And then the cauldron. We're going to put this over here. Let them use whatever they want. Uh, so uh, this is our new kitchen, and that means we also have soups that we can place on the menu. You have to have a crate, a spice shelf, a basin and a cauldron. Oh. Wait. Do we have to unlock that stuff? Or do I simply have it? I have to have access. Oh, props for soup. There it is. I have all of them accessible. Okay, hang on. So the cauldron is there. Oh, I'm glad we have this much space. There's a spice shelf. 400 gold for the spice shelf. Okay, now I have to rethink this again. So uh, we're going to say that the chopping table moves back over to here, let's say. And I might even just, what do you think? Just put it right up against this? I mean, it looks kind of clean. It does, to me anyway. We can put the cooking, maybe the maybe the cooker can be back here instead. We could get the crate, maybe, uh, I don't want to crowd this, but then we, went we need a spice shelf, so that's gonna come back like this. I'm not sure which side is the front. Uh, and then we need to wash. I'm assuming this is to like wash things or a basin. It's just for water, right? Yeah, maybe this is just for water. So we can uh, place this down here. I don't know. What do you think? It's not It's not super like intuitive necessarily, but I think it looks good. I, I don't think it looks the best maybe, but you could certainly uh, move things around. But I think it gets the job done. And it lets you... I want to maybe get be able to get all the way around the soup cauldron, something like this. Or maybe we put the maybe we put the cauldron back so that we can't like accidentally bump into it. Sort of thing, like maybe something like this. I like that. Hey, quick question, actually, can I put decorations in the kitchen and have that up my prestige too? Like, if I wanted to put a coat hanger on the wall here, does that up my prestige? Oh, it does. Oh, cool. Well, now the chefs have a place to put their their jackets and stuff, huh? All right, uh, let's refill all of these. We're down to 48 measly gold. But um, again, Hugo's not that happy. 31%. So let's see uh, let's see what happens with Hugo now. 22%. Ugh, he's getting worse. And he's so greedy. He wants more money. <laughs> I mean, he is hauling ass. He's the only one doing anything with drinks, right? And the thing is, I'm actually considering replacing Hugo. He's been with us this whole time, but look at his traits. Walk speed doesn't decrease when carrying something. That's meaningless to me. Walk speed decrease from here to here? Pretty meaningless. Gains experience two times faster. Well, he's already maxed out. So again, I think meaningless. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him just mope. I'm just gonna let him be mopey, and uh, when he gets to 0%, then that's when he decides to quit. And I'm not gonna fire him. I'm gonna let him work as long as he wants to work. This is a right to work establishment, equal opportunity employer, right? But I'm afraid 
Because of our rapid expansion plans for the future, I just can't afford to pay you more. Right? We got stuff to do. Sorry, Hugo. We just do. Uh, and now it comes the time where you really want another cook in the kitchen. Because now you got a whole bunch of stuff for them to interact with. And uh, this would be interesting. So, like, I want to see. Okay. There it is. Yep. And then you work in the cauldron. Do you always go on that side of it? No, you sometimes you go on this side. Uh, okay, good. So I think this is an okay arrangement. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Unless they're standing on this side for the chop. I haven't seen them use the chopping table yet. So I don't know where they are. I might want another one of these too. Although it, it, I think it looks like they can both use it at the same time. Uh, see, he had to wait. Yeah, there's, there's some waiting times for this. See, look, he's waiting. Yeah, okay. So I think I need two of these then. Oh, we're changing the dynamics. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's put this here. Put the water there. And I think what I need to do, maybe, is we can... Ah, it's getting crowded, man. This kitchen's getting crowded. Well, I I guess I'll just leave this here. I don't, I don't particularly like it. What about this? Can I move? Yeah, let's move you to here. Slide you over one. Now that looks better. I can slide you over one now. I can't move this prop. It's currently being used. Okay, we'll we'll move it after this. But this looks a little cleaner. And if it lets me, if it let me put it here, it, I would. But it, it won't let me. What I could maybe do though is like move this over and like stick like a knight in armor or whatever there. Uh, I think there's a uh, standing props. I think they're standing props. Yeah, like this little globe or this plant. Oh, just this plant. Can I just pop a plant right here? Nobody has to know. <laughs> and it adds to our prestige. It's nice. All right, good. So yeah, we're expanding our food offerings. Lovely. So what I think I'd like to do here regarding Hugo, right? Because his traits are not that advantageous to me anymore, what I'd like to do is he'll quit and then I will replace him with a cook that has good skills. Things like brings more people in, gets tips for every drink served, etc. That kind of thing is going to be really cool. And um, getting uh, staff that have those good perks, I think, is important. Also, I added this. I wasn't going to... I didn't want to do it like without you guys around, but I've been just... I'm like, you know, whatever. I had nothing to show you for research-wise, and I really want to have a second floor started in this video. So by the end of this video, I really want to have this started. Um, as a result of that, we have, I believe anyway, unless it's today, uh, we have a Viking party planned to uh, satisfy the new floor requirement. But um, I added this. It's a thousand uh, gold for 200 prestige. And I kind of needed to take one of these banners away to do it, but it looks pretty good. I think it looks all right. And uh, we could also like really dress up an area with decorations and stuff and make, make this look really homey with, um, you know, the fireplace and everything. Look at all these extra drinks. Like, why so many extra? Is this your way of getting back at me, Hugo? Hmm? Go to the next day. Let's see what he's at. What was he all about now? Yeah, five percent. He is not happy. Now you can make him temporarily happier by just raising his salary, but I'm not going to. He's already the highest paid person in this entire establishment, and uh, I'm just gonna let it, let him stew. This event pays a ton of money, dude. Like, you can make so much money on this Viking thing. And, uh, because they, like, there's 80 of them. And, like, look at this, though. Like, when you get into, sorry, when you get into these events where you're bringing in 100 people plus royals, you're getting rewarded 5,000 for the, like, everything. Plus, you're selling mead, ale, and cider for 15, as opposed to, you know, wine, ale, and mead for nine. Like, we're, we're almost getting, you know, I don't know, 70% more money. For it here too so like these events really highly recommend getting events every instance you can because they're very good so next time what we're going to do i think is we're going to look to get um maybe the plus on the waitresses we start to get it starts to get much harder to research after this point because you need lots of requirements for another kitchen etc i'm thinking barrel storage i kind of like to see you know how much space that takes up Part of me thinks I'm I'm most likely gonna have to use this space 
as a utility space. So like, I'm gonna need barrel storage here probably. And then the stairs will go here up to the second floor where we'll have another barrel storage, another kitchen, another bar, and then everything else. We'll kind of try to maybe line things up. It won't be very original necessarily, but it'll be the way it is. And Or, you know, to make things easier for people to sit down, I might move the kitchen and all that stuff over to the other side so that when people come up the stairs, they can immediately get seated. Like, like their seating is closer to them instead of making them walk by the kitchen and all that stuff to get to their seats. So we can structure it the other side just to kind of mix it up, you know, keep changing it up. Uh, and yeah, for like building tools and stuff, I really wish I could do something outdoors. Spice up this, it doesn't... Yeah, he might quit tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. He's not very happy. <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna hire somebody new. Look at the money we're bringing in, though. That's crazy. I can't afford to hire you, though. I can't afford to pay you anymore, Hugo. <laughs> you dirty capitalist. Look at this money right here. 3,000 gold today. Lovely. New floor research is complete. Lovely. I want to start barrel storage, I think, as a research. And uh, we're going to go into tomato soup leveling up. Nice. Okay, so if I start another day, what's going to happen here, right? is I'm gonna start a new start a new day. Hugo quit, because he's unhappy. We're gonna pause it really quick. Hugo's walking away. No, you can't quit, Hugo. You know why? Because you're fired. <laughs> Let him go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we need a new bartender, and I'm gonna look at things like this. Attracts more customers every day. Uh, gaining experience is useless, don't care. Can carry four drinks at a time, also very good. Um, I generally choose the one that you really want to make sure he has and um, and then hope that he gets the other one. I think I want this one because it's it's just functionally more useful to me. The more customers thing is like, okay, but we're already at capacity. So I'm going to hire this guy. This is Adam. There's not that diverse, there's not much diversity in the range of names in this game. I'd like to see more names because frequently I'll see a lot of Adams, uh, multiple Hugos, right? We have, uh, there's William here and with only one L, nice. Uh, Jack, Randall, I guess these are uh, roughly the same uh, as before, but like the servers, we have uh, another Alice, another Lily, another Ada, right? We already have an Alice, Lily, and Ada working for us. So, you know, there's not as much diversity in the names. I'd like to see a lot more names. But in any case, let this run a little bit. Our new bartender should be arriving shortly to work for us. There he is. And he can carry four drinks at a time, but mostly he's also making a lot less money. <laughs> so yay, upgrades. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, I, I'm hoping that means he can get more drinks in here. It has to make less trips and therefore it's less work for him. That's what I'm hoping. So barrel storage is the next thing we're going to be researching. We're going to have another big O event right here to bring in more people. And we now have the ability to add stairs. How much space do you occupy? Good. That's a lot. Okay. So we've got uh, quite a bit of stairs here. I think I want them here. Maybe here. And... I think the reason for that is so that I can put a table behind it. But the other option is to maybe just put it right on like this. But remember, we have to have space above it to, to stand too. Uh, I was gonna put it right here. Cause I think this also is a pretty good spot. It's right up against the wall and everything. I just have to move the fireplace, but I, I think that's doable. Let me, let, me, let me do this. So if I move this table, let me just move it here for now. Nobody's gonna sit here. Uh, it's not a functional table right now. But if I put this, um, I don't want to sell it. I'm just going to stick it here for now. If I make, uh, let's see, slide this down one. This person's going to get angry at me. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Tough shit. Let's move you to over this way. If I take the stairs and I go like this, all right, I'd like to line it up to where it's, well, where it's lined up. That's what I'd like to do right about here. This item overlaps with some other item on the wall or some high item. Okay, so I need to, uh, whoops. See, they're upset, they're leaving. Ugh, I don't wanna be here anymore. He moved the thing out of my way. He took care of me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I need to move the lantern, that's what it is. Let's move it to this side. And that puts this in the dark, but that's okay, because this can be stairs. So we're gonna put this right like this, hopefully. There we go. Yeah, all right, now we come up to the top floor 
And uh, you can see that we have a whole top section to build now. And we have tons of money to do it. So I say we go ahead and do it. So we're gonna take this and just, I'm gonna bring it all the way over. I'd love to do like an outdoor dining arrangement here. I think that could be kind of cool. What do you think? Can we try it? Do you think the game will let me do that? I don't know. It might say that it has to be outdoors, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a, uh, a I'm gonna put a, a door here. Yep. And I'm gonna also put a wall. It's gonna be our upstairs kitchen area. Do I need it this big? Can I get away with it? Yeah, I guess. I it's the same size as the other kitchen, right? So uh, we'll do this, and then the bar is going to be uh, situated right here. So floor texturing, let's, you know, do something like this. Uh, one thing I would also critique with just a little bit, it's just little nitpicky things, right? Um, the transparency. These white lines are very bright, and it's sometimes difficult to see the difference that I'm making when I make changes. Um, so it would be kind of cool, I think, to maybe have these a little bit dimmer. They're a little bit, they're a little, you know, they're a bit much. <laughs> just a bit. Um, we can bring this wall, I think, all the way around like this. And see, now we have this giant dining area for upstairs as well, which is looks really nice. We'll change this up a little bit, maybe in the kitchen. Go with a wood area here, maybe. I don't know. Should have wood where the fire's burning. You can, I guess you can drag, too. I didn't notice that. I can drag this. I can't shift-click it, but I can go like this. So I guess there's a little bit of a paint tool to this that I didn't notice before. There we go. So the entire exterior of the building looks the same now. And I don't know if that's necessarily the best. Maybe we do change it up. Have this little thing like that. I don't want it to be like this. Yeah, not like this. Uh, so we'll, we'll change it to this though. Just to make it a little bit different. Got a different top piece like this. But I really want to try balconies. God, I'm so obsessed with balconies. <laughs> We're gonna every game I play where I can have a balcony, I'm gonna have a balcony. The real question though becomes, can I actually have one? Because I don't know if it'll let me do that. So I guess we'll find out. Uh, we have a door there, stairs are there, good. Let's go in like this. So if I can I place a table out here? Ooh, I can. It looks like it'll let me. Nice. This is how you can get away with doing outdoor things. Yeah, we can do outdoor things. I'll get away with it like this. Uh, so can I have another kitchen? I mean, I have uh, research wise, I can't have another kitchen, but I can have another bar and it might, that might be a nice uh, thing to do. So if I wanted to add another bar and I do, then I can go to, I think it's special a bar 200 gold for a bar adds 200 prestige and it looks like there is uh oh you need that rack kind of like to hold yeah i need the stuff to hold it so we'll go like this we'll go like this so this is this will be where our second bar is it's right up here and then people can come up the stairs right they come out right here and then they just disperse and go to wherever the chair the, the tables and stuff are so we have 20, we have 2,000 gold. Let's see how many people we can fit in here with 2,000 gold. Uh, I'm gonna take small tables. I don't really wanna do it here, but I can do it over here. So I just don't wanna crowd the, the stairs. That's close enough. And then uh, we'll go like this, like uh, this, and it's pretty crowded. That's getting close. Uh, no, actually we won't do that. Instead, we're going to take and move you to, let's say, um, I think we'll go here at the closest, which just happens to be the same distance as this. So, okay. Uh, and then we'll move to there. Yeah. And then instead of having that, we'll have the seats be over in this area, like uh, this, let's say. Actually, I want it to line up with this backside here, so... We can go like, oops, that's got to be a little bit more. There we go. Because you're going to have a bench here and here. So two, two apart. Basically, it's just two on, two off. 
Uh, so we go like that and like that and like that, which brings me to having you move to here, which does technically fit. I was just kind of hoping maybe to like do a suit of armor or something in that spot, but I, I think I would rather have more people show up. So there's my seats around the outside and you know, we could get away with, I think it'd be a good idea to get some windows in here too. So if we can put windows lined up with the existing windows. Uh, minus the kitchen. We don't want the kitchen to have windows. Uh, oh, we could do like one across the river, I suppose, you know? But all of these windows just line up with the other ones. There's only one window on this side? That's boring. That's lame. Let's do this. Yeah, do this. Let's get some more windows in here. This is the kitchen, so we don't want to do that. Uh, but we do kind of want to do it on the upper floor, though. Yeah, let the upper floor have some windows. Come on. Uh, what about down? How do I how do I move down floors? Oh, is there like a hotkey for that? Okay, R moves me up, F moves me down. R and F. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so we're we're kind of set there, aren't we? We have a uh, we got some stuff happening. Nice. Uh, we got thirty two oh three thousand more. How about we get um, some decor stuff? How about a bookshelf in the back here? It's not really all that flashy. Yeah, it's not really all that. Oh, we don't want to have the time run. We have uh, stuff sitting on the middle of nowhere here. Hang on. Uh, maybe we move this over here. That's nifty. I mean, you can't see it. I'd like it to be seen. Ooh, actually, what about right on the stairs? That doesn't make sense, though. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, though. What if we did this, and then we put another one right here? Like, as you come up the stairs, you see, you know, this fireplace right here in your face. Does that crowd the stairs too much? I think it does. Yeah, it's a little crowded. Uh, let's move this over. We'll stick it next to... Yeah, we'll stick it next to this. That's cool. I like that. To get in here, we also need a door into the kitchen, don't we? So, uh, put a door there. And... We could maybe get away with having a door to the kitchen here, too. You know, like, uh, the servers pick it up and then they just go immediately here instead of having to come... I mean, they don't have to go that far. They just they just go like this, but it'd be faster just to go that way, right? The thing is, though, that takes extra space that I could otherwise use for, you know, kitchen furniture, like having a counter there, for example. So, like, a counter could go here. That's how we serve our... Oh, right. We can't have another kitchen, of course. Well, you, you see it. You get it. Uh, now, we need lighting as well. So, the tables will get lit here, uh, here, and we'll go there, and we'll go uh, there, and uh, we'll light this side. It's, I don't know if that'll get that bench over there. Let's be safe. Go there, and we'll go uh, there-ish. There we go. And then one more over like so. That'll take care of my perimeter lighting. And then in the middle, we just need that candle. So somewhere in the middle about here, it's going to be a candle. I wish there was some sort of light that would um, dangle from the ceiling. You know, instead of needing to take up floor space. I mean, it's like a balancing thing probably. I don't know. I don't know why there'd be balancing to that. Something that dangles from the ceiling is like, I feel like that's something that totally happens. You know, that's... Something that we have, right? All right, so if we were to accept guests into our new place and they come upstairs, I would like to get a railing here too. Some sort of railing element that blocks this off. Maybe it's just as simple as adding a, a, a wall, but it doesn't line up though, right? Because the wall has to be four wide and the stairs are only three wide. So this wall won't match. Like I want something that guards against people falling. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all these things with like Sim Casino and the stairs and everything. And it's, I get that there's a railing here, but there's no railing here to protect people from falling in. I don't know. Maybe we can, we can offset it with decorations. That, that would be one way to do it. So we could say like there's a suit of armor, you know, here. And also here, guarding the stairs as a marker. Hey, don't fall in. <laughs> I don't know. We could line it with plants and stuff too, potentially. 
I don't know. It's an idea. I got lots of those. It's happening, guys. We're good. We got an upstairs, and we're going to start working on, you know, treating more and more people every single day. I'm giving them soup now. We're leveling up our soup. We have a one-star leek soup. Everything's coming together. And I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'm going to leave it here at our full dining. Jesus, look at this. Guests per day is so high right now. Like, we could just... Honestly, we don't. We could just change our prices, bring that down, bring the number down. We could just, we could just charge more for our stuff. We absolutely can. The demand is high, and therefore the price will be too. Ten thousand prestige has been it. I am excited about it. We're gonna see what happens with that next time. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe. If you haven't already, and look, Merlin the Wizard, we can totally do it if we need to. Take care. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.